Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have my what I in a day video, which has been highly requested. You guys may know that I was diagnosed with something called chronic ITP when I was a little girl. Come to find out, it's very common for pregnant women to have lower platelets than they normally do. But since I already have the pre-existing condition, it has been a lot harder for me. So if you guys are not familiar with what ITP is, it's just basically having low platelets. And platelets are what help your body form clots anytime that you hurt yourself. So if you get like a little cut, there are these little tiny blood cells that come to the rescue and prevent you from bleeding out. To give you guys a point of reference, a normal amount of platelets is between 150 and 450, and we're talking in increments of 1,000. To give you guys an idea of how much they have dropped since the beginning of my pregnancy, I started at 138 and I'm now in the 50s. So huge drop um, in, in a very short amount of time. So yeah, that is what my diet is targeted at, is eating foods that are going to help raise my platelets. All right, I'm going to stop rambling, but I felt like you guys needed a little bit of background in case any of you guys are going through the same thing that I am. I will keep you guys updated. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so here's the most recent thing that I started doing in the mornings to help increase my platelet count. Um, instead of lemon water, we switched over to drinking coconut water and we get the fresh coconuts that haven't even been opened yet and we open them ourselves, go and I drink one of these every single morning and then I try to have at least one more throughout the day. If you guys wanna know why I've been drinking this and how it's affected my platelets, um, read the info box. I will have everything in there for you guys. So I wake up starving, you guys. Go-to breakfast right now is oatmeal. I cook it with plain water, and I like the Quaker oats. Uh, I get them from Costco. I just cook them following the instructions, and then I top them with brown sugar, blueberries, and bananas. I usually like to use fresh blueberries, but if I don't have any on hand, I will just use frozen. And then I've been eating these little pumpkin spice uh, muffins. They're so good, you guys. Sadly, they're limited edition, but I toast those and put cream cheese on them, and that is pretty much my breakfast. I am trying to cut out coffee completely, so I'm down to drinking only half-calf, and I usually end up putting it over ice. I don't know what it is, but ever since I've been pregnant, I like my coffee cold instead of hot. About two hours later, I will have a green smoothie. This is basically to incorporate as many greens as possible, and my husband makes these for me every day because I can't stand the way that it smells when it's in the blender. We use this power green mixture that has arugula, spinach, kale, and chard. We do try to sweeten it up with some mango chunks, banana, and also one to two dates. The dates do the trick, you guys, trust me. Then we also add fat-free Greek yogurt for protein. I have to have the protein in the smoothie, otherwise it makes me feel dizzy and it's like sugar overload. It's really weird, but the protein helps balance everything out for me. And as the liquid, we use coconut water and then we just add some ice. And this makes enough for two. My husband will join me and drink some of the smoothie. Even though it doesn't taste the best, I feel really good after I drink it. For lunch, my go-to has been sandwiches. I just want it to be quick, easy, filling, have my vegetables in there and my chicken. These rotisserie chickens have been lifesavers. This one in particular is from Whole Foods and I will just basically pick at it throughout the day and sometimes I incorporate it in lunch and dinner. And I like to toast my bread. This is a really yummy Asiago sourdough bread. It's so good. I will add mayo to it and then I will cut up my romaine and my tomato and heat up my chicken, add some mustard, some banana peppers, and then I will serve it with these really good Cheetos and also a pickle and it is so good. And I will have that with a glass of water. So if I get hungry a little bit later, I will either have a piece of toast with tomato on it, that's one of my favorite things to eat with some sea salt and pepper, or uh, my husband will make me another green smoothie. You guys these days I don't have the energy to cook like I used to I'm all about quick and easy so on this day I just had some um, tomato soup on hand and I decided to just make like my own little stew out of it so I added some pasta to it and also some vegetables and some more of that rotisserie chicken that I had left over I will start by cooking my pasta I will undercook it by one or two minutes so it can continue cooking in the soup. I will add my tomato soup and then I will add my broccoli and cauliflower. I don't add the carrots. If it needs a little bit more seasoning, I'll season it and I will also add a little bit of chicken stock to thin it out. And I'll usually have that with a side salad. I had some romaine left over from the sandwich earlier and also some tomatoes and I just added some Italian dressing to that. And to drink, I treated myself and had some ginger ale. Uh, because I've been really craving those bubbly drinks. I also added a little bit of shredded mozzarella cheese to my soup. 
it was so good and then i topped it with a little bit of this truffle salt which takes any dish over the top i absolutely love this stuff after dinner i'll take my prenatal vitamins which right now i'm taking my raw vitamins uh dha and also calcium Then I will have my evening tea, which I do every night. It's a ritual for me, and peppermint has been my go-to to help me digest my food. And every day, like clockwork, between 11 and 12.30, I get so hungry. So apples and cheddar cheese has been my go-to, and this has just been like the magic combination. I can go all night without getting up to get a snack, and baby goes right to sleep. He doesn't kick me all night. <laughs> So that is pretty much what I eat in a day. It changes a little bit, you know, the snacks here and there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.